Hello and welcome to this video about Egipodium podagraria, commonly known as ground elder, also sometimes known as goutweed or bishopweed, depending on where you are in the world. It starts to appear in spring with bright green shoots like these, and as the season progresses it gets darker and starts to look more like this, eventually flowering in late spring and early summer. You will know you have ground elder as it progressively creeps through your garden via underground rhizomes that persist all year round, eventually infesting every area of ground you have and even turf if you're particularly unlucky. In my line of work as a professional gardener and a licensed and registered applier of herbicides, I can tell you that it is possible to tackle it, but you do have very limited options. Hand weeding and hoeing are not effective methods for removing ground elder due to its long, fibrous, off-white root system that it has. If you break off even a tiny piece of it and leave it in the ground, like with bindweed, it will regrow quite quickly. But unlike bindweed, regular removal does not weaken it. In fact, it just encourages it. The most effective way of tackling it is an application of a herbicide, specifically a glyphosate-based herbicide. Now, I know some of you may well have tried this already, but I can tell you that there are several reasons why perhaps your application didn't work where mine do. Firstly, most of the products that you can buy off the shelf are fairly low concentrations of glyphosate. Now, this is fine for your annual weeds and such like, but for tough, pernicious, perennial weeds like ground elder, you really need a high strength reed killer to knock it down. Secondly, the likelihood is you've been applying it at the wrong time in ground elder's life cycle. When it starts to look like this and is dark green and is already infesting all of your garden, it is too late to spray it. The darker the leaves, the more rubbery they get and that makes them very resistant to taking in any water or other chemicals that you may spray onto it. So, the best plan is to take a hoe and just hoe it all down to the floor, every single piece of it. Don't worry about it spreading, it will do that anyway with or without any encouragement. Wait for it to come back in, and then when it is nice and bright green, you hit it with your high strength glyphosate. Depending on the weather conditions, as glyphosate is quite temperature sensitive, you may find that it could take up to four weeks for it to have any effect. Please also make sure that you're not applying it in direct sunlight. Better to do it in the evening when it's cooler and you don't risk evaporation. So once it's dead, you just pull up all the brown leaves and wait and see for about two, three weeks if anything else regrows. The likelihood is you will get some regrowth here and there. So you just hit it again when the leaves are young and fresh and green and in that way you should be able to eliminate it from your garden. I hope that's been of some use to you, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like the video, please hit like, and please subscribe for future videos about tackling all sorts of garden issues. Thank you very much. Goodbye.